thank you so much for diving in with us today. We are here on a beautiful reef off the coast of Honduras. Now in front here you'll see an amazing hawksbill sea turtle laying on some coral eating a sponge. You'll also see some angelfish hanging around as well. The reefs off the coast of Honduras here provide amazing habitat for all sorts of sea turtles, including the most common inhabitant, the hawksbill sea turtle. The hawksbill gets its name from its sharp, protruding beak used to bite and crush food. Hawksbill sea turtles love shallow reefs where they can find lots of food like algae, crabs, and fish. Oh, look at him, he's so close. Now if you look closely at its right flipper, you can see a small metal name tag. This means this turtle has been caught before. This helps scientists keep track of how fast it is growing. Absolutely. These turtles get tagged like that when they go onto the beach. Sea turtles spend most of their time out in the ocean and will only come to land when they lay their eggs. Hawksbills only live about 50 years in the wild and are endangered. This is because people hunt them for their shells. Sea turtles can hold their breath for several hours, which is amazing to think about. Also, they breathe air, just like us, and can drown when tangled up in garbage people just throw on the ground. The best way to help these turtles is to recycle and pick up trash you find at the beach. This turtle seems like he is hungry and in search of a nice snack. Just by eating, this sea turtle prevents lots of marine organisms from becoming too crowded on the reef. These turtles are essential for a healthy and happy coral reef. Sea turtles are incredibly fascinating. Especially because they've been around for over 100 million years. Guys, thanks so much for diving in with us today. <laughs>